Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, I'm coming at you with a makeup tutorial. It's time to get into it. You feel me? I'm super excited for this one because I am finally showing y'all the reveal of the inside of my collab palette with Playing in Makeup by Yolando. I worked really hard on choosing the colors and the color scheme, the names, like everything with my palettes. I will do a video breaking down everything as far as the names and the color scheme and all that. I'm just gonna go with the flow, see what I can create, and let's do it, it's time. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, like, do y'all see this? Like the colors in this eye look are in this palette. So it's crazy because you can achieve this eye look when using this palette. As you can see, my palette is called the Beat Down Eyeshadow Palette because you gonna beat yourself down with this palette. Do you hear me? You are coming, you are coming any which way you want. You could come chic, you could come bougie, you could come colorful, you could come rainbow. Okay, honey, like the, the possibilities are endless. That was the goal. You feel me? I did already open it to look at it. Um, so there is like a like bubble wrap that comes on this. But yeah, as you can see, the palette is just gorgeous. Like it's very sturdy. It's a really nice size. Like it's super heavy. Like this is a really nice quality freaking palette. I'm like so excited, y'all. Like I can't even explain it because I just, oh my God. And then when you open it, God, look at her look at her shine bright you hear me like I'm freaking geeked as you can see it has a film to protect your shadows and your mirror up here as you can see I mean we got we got Roy G Biv Roy G Biv like you know but it's also got lime green green dark green you know what I'm saying red dark red like neon orange, toned down orange. Obviously, I need a yellow in there. You feel me? I mean, this is like toned down pink, bright pink. But I did want to keep it like versatile with the browns in here. And like, you have to have a white. We got a black, like a really d deep brown. A br like this is, I would just say it's brown, brown. And then we got like a more cocoa brown. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because I want to be able to do like normal <laughs> type of looks with this as well. So I'm super duper excited. We're just gonna go and just try to do something colorful, but I wanna do a wing. I don't wanna do a glitter cut crease. Like I wanna do a glitter cut crease. I haven't done one in so long. It's been forever. So we just gonna dip into these and see what we create. Let's get it, let's go. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get straight into this look, period.
over here like, hmm, should I add glitter? Should I not add glitter? Should I add glitter? Should I not add glitter? I'm gonna add glitter because I can't take it. So I'm using my my sets from Beast by Dev Cosmetics. So this is the fine, this is the chunky, and this is the iridescent. So I thought just to like, you know, keep it cute with these shimmers, I don't want to cover it completely with the um hollow glitters because those like you really can't see nothing underneath but with these you kind of need a little bit of color base so that they kind of pop even more so i'm gonna use comes with 12 in here and this one i spilled on the floor earlier i'm like pissed about it but so i'm gonna use this yellow on top of the gold this for green blue and then this purple right here so i think that'll be really cute with this look I just want to add something extra y'all know I have a problem so yeah I'm gonna add my wing first because I don't want to get glitter on my wing so yeah let me do that real quick and then we gonna come on back into the short but thick lashes lately so i'm gonna go with my beast by Dip cosmetics lashes in the style oh there you go in the style fave loving these lately just because they're like really look pretty with a cut crease they are really really thick they're 5d lashes so they're like super thick and fluffy but they're not really long so you can still see the glitter over these which is what i'm going for today okay so i'm gonna use my tatcha um silk canvas this is their primer and it actually is really good it smooths out the skin really nicely um my girl taylor made jane and actually recommended it and i actually really like it it's really good it does smooth the skin out really nice without like i'd say dehydrating your skin you know, like some smoothing primers, your skin feels dead and looks dead afterwards. Like, you know, but this is really nice, I'd say. Because it like definitely like minimizes the, um, it definitely like minimizes the appearance of my pores, but it's not like so drying or anything, which I really like. I just said in my last story time that I love the formula of this new foundation from NARS. This is the soft matte foundation in the shade Moria. And I'm like literally obsessed with it. Um, it is a little like, I'd say yellow for me. I just started mixing it with a little bit of my 440C. This is the Anastasia uh, Luminous Foundation, but it, it kind of takes away the formula of this. Like it, it makes it a little bit more luminous than I like. This original formula is bomb. I was trying to like play with it to see what concealers and what contours will work to like tone it back down. But I'm gonna still play with it because I just, oh my God, if I, if I could just wear this on my face straight, love it. I think I'm gonna go get one shade darker and see if I can mix those two together. But yeah, loving this. If you like like a um, matte finish, but you don't like a really heavy liquid foundation, I'd say that's like perfect for you. So, and it's full coverage too, like super nice coverage. So obsessed.
brown liner is on. I'm taking my, actually, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm gonna take my lip palette. This is from Anastasia. And I like to mix multiple colors in this. I'm gonna take this like kind of nude shade with a little bit of this pinky shade. And then I mix it with white just to lighten it up a little bit. Ain't that just perfect? It's literally matching my outfit too perfectly right now. Like what? It's matching this eye. It just had to happen. You feel me? And I'm actually gonna take the brown out of my palette. And I'm gonna go this shade skin. Period. Ain't that just the perfect name for it? Like what? Oh yup. Cause I want to tone down this liner. Perfect. Now we just gonna add a little bit of this powder. Get rid of that any shine left, cause I do want this to be matte, matte, matte. Yes, honey. Any powder does it. But I do like to use the yellow powder. It kind of gives me some type of. It gives me something else that the white powder doesn't. So, last but not least, we have the highlighter. My highlighter by Beats by Deb Cosmetics. You already know this is in the shade Miami Beach, and you're gonna see why, because it literally looks like sand glistening in the sunlight. Do you hear me? This highlighter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yup. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's giving love. It is like. It's, I was about to say subtle girl, Deb, what? <laughs> it's subtle for me, man. Like I love a blinding highlight, but this is the loose highlighters. I feel like give more of a like shining, like diamonds effect than a like um, blinding effect. You know, like when you just put straight like pressed highlighter and it's like, bam, like you turn your head and it's like, woo. With this, you still get that, but it's more like, oh my God. And then you turn the, flash on and get a low light and you'll be like oh my god baby you're glistening like that's what i like because me living in michigan i literally get like i don't know when the sun's gonna come out i can't guarantee what the sun gonna do so i can't really thrive off the sun like some of these people can i wish i could bruh but i can't tell and so i'm like i'm gonna perfect this low lighting thing and man it it happened you feel me like it is perfected period Cause I can, I can, I can make my makeup pop with the low lighting. It just comes so easy. If you want to learn how I do that, by the way, or like any, in my, um, on my website, I have a little class, it's 10 bucks and, um, it shows all type of lighting, literally super affordable lighting. So you can get a ring light right now. Uh, I show different ways to do that. Um, different ways to do your lighting so not just with the can't like um, how people show you with the iPhone there's different ways that you can do it to get different effects and so I showed that in depth if you all want to purchase that it is on my website available whenever and yeah um, a lot of people give me really good feedback so I feel like it was a really good video I'm getting everything that I want right now with this with this eye, I'm getting it. With this lip, I'm getting it. With this highlight, I'm getting it. Even with the hair, honey, I'm getting it, okay? I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of this, this um, little bit of this Miami Beach right in the inner corner, cause can't forget about her. It literally like connects your eyeshadow from your cut crease to your lower lash line and it just draws everything like in a circle. It like is meant to be, you feel me? Oh my gosh, just everything, you feel me? Everything. Just a little, just a little taste for the highlight right in that brow bone. I am so extremely pleased with this look. I absolutely love it. I haven't done a glitter cut crease in so long and I knew I wanted to do one with a wing and I knew I wanted to do one using my palette. So this was perfect. I absolutely love my palette. As you can see, the shadows are just bomb. They're just how I wanted them to be. They're just, they're over my expectations. I want to start using more shimmers in my looks as well because I don't 
tend to use a lot of shimmers when shimmers are very important and a lot of people use them like a lot more people than i thought you feel me like i don't know why i'm always like matte shadows and glitters but like shimmers are necessary so i want to start incorporating those in my looks as well if you guys have any inspo or like what from your favorite makeup artist doesn't matter the count of the followers or anything like that please send them through dm on my instagram send the um pictures of whatever you think i should recreate especially with a uh, spooky season coming up i really want to do some really dope stuff and put it out on youtube because i never do it because like every year it's something else so like i want to really focus on youtube this year and i really want to get some like really cool stuff y'all can try this spooky season and even like uh with the other holidays coming up um i think it would be really cool to do like some really crazy stuff this year so let me know put it in the dm sis i will be looking at them um i try my best to go through them every day so yeah let me know i love y'all so so much uh stick around for this little low light video that's coming up honey and i'll see y'all in my next video it's coming soon i already know what i want to do period let's get into this low light okay